In the wilds of South Africa, rhinos roam freely, but are always wary of hidden dangers, most notably poachers, who are desperate for their horns, which they can sell on the black market for a large fee. However, the rhinos are now getting much needed backup. A team of scientists and conservationists are launching a new innovation. We've developed to the use of radioisotopes to devalue rhino horn. So you're using radioactive material, small quantities of it inserted into the horn of a rhino, which is like then putting a massive bright light into the horn that no one can turn off. It stays there and as it goes across borders, the detectors are in place that can pick it up. The project led by the University of the Witwatersrand marks the official launch of a plan to protect South Africa's rhino population, the largest in the world. On Thursday, five rhinos were injected with a radioactive compound. Last year, about 20 rhinos at a sanctuary were injected with isotopes as part of initial trials that paved the way for the launch. The situation is, in South Africa, if you're caught in possession of radioactive material, it's defined as a crime against the state. So theoretically, it can open up the possibility of a person being charged with you know, that sort of offence as well as wildlife trafficking offences. So you're just kind of ramping up the, the, the reward risk ratio in the favour of us. The isotopes are harmless to the animals, but powerful enough to trigger radiation detectors at borders and airports. Initial tests showed that horns could even be traced inside a 40-foot shipping container. Whilst dehorning needs to be done every 18 to 24 months, this only needs to be done every five years. And also because the procedure is so quick and simple, firstly, the animal is under less stress and duress. Secondly, it actually costs much less in terms of veterinary costs and drugs. And then because you only need to treat every five years, it ultimately saves money for the rhino owners because they're so brave looking after these animals and continuing to be their custodians and reserves, etc. So we, we're trying to help and just up the ante a bit in the anti-poaching game. The International Union for Conservation of Nature estimates that the global rhino population stood at around 500,000 at the beginning of the 20th century, but has now declined to approximately 27,000, largely due to continued demand for rhino horn on the black market. In Africa, rhino poaching has severely decimated populations. South Africa, which holds the largest rhino population, estimated at 16,000, continues to face high levels of poaching, with around 500 rhinos killed each year for their horns. But conservationists are hopeful that radioactive tagging, combined with community education and law enforcement, can help reverse the trend. Sharon Baranga, CGTN.